Hello again and welcome to another in our continuing series of Fly the Wing 5-Minute In-Flight Maneuver videos. This month, we're talking steep turns. Steep turns help us develop coordination and orientation and division of attention while we operate the airplane near its maximum performance limits. Steep turns are a maneuver that you don't use in normal everyday flight, but you will have to demonstrate them on both the private and commercial check rides. Remember, in level turns, the changing lift vector requires a little bit of back pressure as we trade some of that vertical component of lift for the horizontal component of lift, which is what brings us through the turn. The increased load factor in steep turns increases the effective weight of the plane, forcing the wings to produce that much more lift to maintain the same flight attitude. And our stall speed increases as well. This graph shows that at a 45 degree bank angle, we have a stall speed that's about 20% higher than at straight and level flight. So, as we roll into the maneuver and get beyond 30 degrees, we're going to need a little bit of back pressure, maybe a little power, and keep coordinated rudder through the entire maneuver. Don't be slipping and sliding through the maneuver. You can trim to maintain that same flight attitude, but remember, it's a visual maneuver. So scan between the sight picture over your nose, the attitude of your wing relative to the ground, and cross-check altitude and airspeed from time to time through the maneuver. Make small minor corrections, and if you lose a little bit of altitude, just bring out about 5 degrees of bank to unload the wing, pitch it back up to get to the desired altitude, and then crank the bank angle back in again. Now that you know the basics of steep turns, I have the keys to the airplane, what do you say we go fly the maneuver? Here we are out in the airplane in the practice area. We've made our clearing turns. We just made a position report on the radio. We've done a sweep check, make sure mags, master, and fuel are all set. And we've got a nice emergency landing area below us. We're going to do steep turns two, one to the left, 360, and then we'll come back and do one to the right. So we'll look under the left wing. There's no traffic there. Begin to roll in coordinated. And as we come past 30 degrees bank, we're going to add a little bit of back pressure and a little bit of power just to maintain altitude. Once we get that sight picture set off the nose, we can see exactly what it's going to take to slice through the horizon and maintain that same altitude and remain coordinated through the entire maneuver. We can also look down the left wing and watch as it pivots over the same spot in the ground. That should remain the same, too, in terms of our bank angle. We come around to our northerly heading, a little forward stick, roll out, and immediately go into a right 360. That little bump you just felt was our wake turbulence as we flew through it, which is a good sign that we're staying at the same altitude through the entire maneuver. We're back to 45 degrees on the right. We're about halfway through the maneuver as we're heading south. We'll continue to come around, look at that sight picture down the right wing and also over the nose. It'll look different in a side-by-side -side airplane when you're going left compared to right, but you have to get used to that differing sight picture. And as we come around 20 degrees from our initial heading, the mountain's off our nose, we're back to north, we roll out, a little forward stick pressure, power comes back, and the maneuver is complete at 4,500 feet and the airspeed at which we began. And there you have it, in a nutshell, the basics of the steep turns maneuver. As you practice steep turns, here are a couple of the common errors you may encounter. Be careful not to make excessive pitch changes during entry or recovery. Maintain orientation at all times. Be sure you roll out on your beginning heading, plus or minus 10 degrees. Stay coordinated through the entire maneuver. No slipping or skidding in the turns. Poor airspeed and power control is another error. Gaining altitude in right turns or losing altitude in left turns will be common when you begin practicing the maneuver. You've got to adjust to that changing sight picture in side-by-side -side airplanes. It'll look different in left turns compared to right turns. And attempting to perform the maneuver by instrument reference rather than visual reference. It's a visual maneuver, so look outside the airplane. And there you have it, the basics of the steep turn maneuver. Grab your instructor, go out and practice them in your airplane. Have fun, fly safely, and I'll see you next month for another Fly the Wing 5-Minute In-Flight Maneuver video.